Well, hello, good friends of the internet. I happen to be the Tenkai Chief Gaming Pookie Easy Seven, and um, I'm actually doing something different, as you can tell. You see, I, you see, there are plenty of RPGs out there, role-playing games. You have your action, you have your turn base. And of course, you even have the open world types. And then there are the ones that tend to put people to sleep. Or tend to bore people. The types I usually watch and the types I usually do when I'm not doing any other kind of RPG. They are strategy and tactics RPGs. Now the games I'm talking about are like Final Fantasy Tactics, Bahamut Lagoon, XCOM, Super Robot Tyson, Dynasty Tactics, and many others. Many others I could probably think of, <sighs> but escape me at the moment. Um, I think Saga Frontier is a Tactics RPG, Tactics RPG too. So, for those out there who are wondering, I'm going to run it down for you as to how you can understand strategy and tactics RPGs much better. Now, for those of us who play these kind of games, the first rule is. Well, naturally, you have to create your team. Because, well, <laughs> you can't really start the game without making a team. Now, let me emphasize on this. You can make your own team. Or, you can already, you can already have an, you can already have a freshly made team. Oh yeah, Pokemon is another one of those kind of games too. But yeah, after you make your team, then you go out on the field and you plot and plan. Now as I said, depending on the type of tactics or strategy RPG, <laughs> depending on whether whether it's a field-based type of game, oh yeah, Front Mission Two. Um, there are a whole lot. Of, there are a whole lot of strategy games I can probably throw out. Throw out that I can probably think of, but like I said, there are so many that are on my mind. As as I as I'm telling you this, everything is just like boom, 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 boom. But number two, yeah, you have to plot and plan ahead. You have to at least think of a plan while you're while you're out there. Especially if there's a if there's a map and they give you the option to look at the map before you actually go into before you actually go into the field. The smart thing is if you actually look at the map ahead before you actually take on the enemies on the field, it's smart because you can figure out, okay, what type of enemies they are, how do, how do you go about defeating them, if it's a ground type, if it's a flying type, if it has any susceptible weaknesses and whatnot. You always have to plot and plan this stuff out before you actually do that. I know there are certain tactics RPGs that do this. I know Super Robot Tyson does it. I know um, Bahamut Lagoon. Bahamut Lagoon also has that feature. 
I don't know about any other game, but I do know those two games actually have those kind of features. In which you do look at the map before you actually go into the map. Before you play the stage, you actually look at the stage and see what you're going to be dealing with. And number three, you have to think ahead. Because like I said, if you plot and plan ahead, that means you have to think ahead. That means you have to think two steps ahead of the enemy. Because not only will you have the advantage, but in this case, you'll need every kind of edge you need to win. And like I said, this is not just to, this is not to the players, but I made a list for the spectators out there or the viewers. So the one thing you need to do if you're playing a strategy game is think ahead. Don't think too far ahead, but at least think ahead to what the enemy might do. I'll give an example. The last stage that I've dealt with on Super Robot Tyson, I was dealing with um, um, the Proto Devlin from um, from the Macro 7 series. And the thing is that at first they were dodgy, so therefore I had trouble actually trying to deal with them because A, they were too dodgy, and B, they grouped up to where if you hit one and they're stacked together, you wouldn't actually hit the target, but you would actually hit the one protecting the target. So therefore, it did frustrate me until until I until I basically used the one the one type that could that would actually destroy these units, which are R2 types or real robot types. So in that case, it's like, oh, use that to your advantage. You, you, you know, whatever you have on hand. That means if you got a fact on hand, read the fact, study it. And therefore, you know, it'll tell you what the enemy's names are, what they have a chance of, you know, what kind of damage and whatnot. What you can do in order to stop them from getting the jump on you and everything that's what you need to do that's what you need to do now number four and I cannot stress this I cannot stress this enough I really can't number four you have to be calm there are people out there who do not like um, strategy games it somehow intimidates them I know some people out there that just don't like strategy games and there are some people who do like strategy games and to the people who do like strategy games no matter what situation no matter if you are out thought and out thought you have to stay calm you have to be calm because if you panic you have instantly lost right then and there on the spot. So yeah, be calm. That's the smart. Th that's the smartest thing you can actually do in a strategy in a strategy and tactics RPG. Just be calm. Number five, be confident. Because that too falls in line with being calm. Not only must you be calm, but you have to trust in your own abilities to lead. You have to trust in your own ability to make the place you need to. It's much like um, playing Tecmo Bowl or Madden. Because football football games require st strategy too because you need to make a certain play so that you can get that touchdown and make certain 
that, you know, the play can't, you know, go through. So, therefore, whatever skills you got, use them. Whatever, it's like this, whatever the game gives you, use them. Whatever skills you have, use them. Be confident about these skills. Be confident in what the game gives you. Be confident in your own abilities. That's what that's what determines a good player from a bad player. Uh, this rule. I've seen so many people that get so far and yet they forget that one little thing that they're always supposed to do and it's a rule of thumb when you're playing any kind of RPG save once save often I cannot tell you how many times I've actually done that saved once and saved often I could say no matter what RPGs I've actually ever played and you've seen them on my channel, so you know so you know what's up. That means if there isn't an in-game save, save state. Most people would look down on save states just because, oh, I don't want to do this. But honestly, as I said before, save once, save often. If the game doesn't require safe state, make one. That's the only smart thing you can do. Either that or you had to, if it has a password system, write it down. But you just can't be, you can't be lazy to the point in which you actually don't care about actually coming back to where you last left off. You want to continue the game and more than likely finish it. So therefore, it, it'd be a waste of all that progress shot down in flames like that. It really would. I've seen too much of that. And I've done too much of that. I mean, I've, I've seen too much of that happen. And sometimes I've done too much of that. But only... I, but only in a practice run. Practice runs are different than the actual thing because practice run you're pr you're pretty much seeing ahead of time then you know you're actually doing the part. So I'm behind practice runs all the way. Number 7 and the most important rule. Don't give up. That's with any game. Don't give up. There have been times in which I've played a game in which sometimes it does get hard. I've ran into some games that were like that and I had I had two choices. One, I can continue playing or two, I can stop playing, come back to it when I'm in a better mood, and I can think. I shouldn't say just with RPGs, but I mean with any game that isn't RPG related. I don't really have to, it's like this, I don't really have to play through the entirety of the whole game in one sitting. I can make, say, two to, say, six parts in, in one sitting. And if I felt I've done enough, then I felt I've done enough. It's just as simple as that. I mean, I know there are people that sometimes ask, when will you do this? When will you finish this? How are you going to do it? 
and I have to say, when am I going to do it? That's what the updates are for. How am I going to do it? That's up to me on how I'm going to do it. And more importantly, when am I going to show it off? Again, that's up to me. Like I said, you know, most people ask, uh, well, when, you know, if not most people, a few people, I should say, will ask that one question. Like, A, why don't you do this? And, you know, how come you didn't do this? I say, well, if you pay attention, I said, I made, this is why I make playlists. I make playlists just because, for those who missed it, there you go. If you don't have Facebook or Twitter, or at least Google+, Plus, just go to my channel. I have playlists. I even made playlists for future games that I plan on doing. So therefore, usually I make playlists for, say, games I'm already working on, or, or something I plan to do in, in the not so far future. So it is important to understand that. But for anybody else who are playing certain games, don't play them too hard. Don't play them too hard. You know, if you do like one mission a day, that's good. It's like me playing Pixel Puzzles Japan. I do one puzzle a day. Or one puzzle when I feel like doing a puzzle. I don't try to do anything more than what I'm supposed to do. You know, it, it, it's just not right. Plus, you know... I usually play that game just to unwind. And once again, thank you, Ryu, for sending me that game. I've been enjoying it. Anyway, um, those are that's for the players of certain RPGs and tactics and whatnot. Now, for the spectators out there. I have to say this. Yeah. Usually, let's players out there do ask for advice sometimes. Even I say, you know, if you have any sort of... I always say this in any of my blog videos or any kind of other videos that I'm doing outside of gaming. If you have any feedback, any information, I mean, if you have any feedback or something you want to tell me or whatnot, if you want to leave me a comment, please do so. Because I always check my comments every day. Usually, for the most part, whenever I'm doing certain games or whatnot, whether the comments are old or whether they're recent, it's it, it's fine, you know. I mean, if it's old, I'm just going to look at it and just say, I'm just going to look at it and just acknowledge it as saying, oh, well, yeah, you know, this is an old game, therefore, you know, you commenting on something like that, blah, 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 blah. That's fine, that's dandy. I can understand that, but please understand the circumstances at the time. But yeah, if, um,. I'm doing if I'm doing a strategy RPG, whether it's um, Bahamut Lagoon, Dune, the Battle of Arrakis, any of the SRW games, excluding OG Saga, um, or anything else that requires strategy and or tactics. I do not mind the fact that I do not mind the fact that you know I like support 
you know, like I said, it, it, it's hard that there are people out there who look down on on certain personalities on YouTube just because, oh, well, you bore me. Well, think about this. Um, I do this as a, I, and mind you, I do this as a hobby. So therefore, you know, look at it this way. It is free entertainment. I could charge for for the videos I do, but I'm not going to. Besides, like I said, this is a hobby for me. My job is an author. I make books for a living. I sell books for a living. It's just that simple. <sighs> Number two. Give advice. There are times in which we we will miss certain secrets. We will miss certain um we will miss not only secrets, but we will possibly miss a few Easter eggs, a few characters, and probably everything in between. So if you know something that we do not please share, we do not mind the advice. There's some people out there who will who will say who who gave them the advice. I'm one of those people who will say it very often. The last the last piece of advice I ever got was about the premium harp and the premium heart in Final Fantasy VII. And I have to say thank you. Cause you know there are games that are older than we and sometimes we can't remember all of the the, the little nooks and crannies of every game. So, you know, every bit of advice is helpful. And number three, don't be afraid. I mean, for, for those of the viewers out there, you might not like the games that we play. And that's understandable. The video might be too long. That's understandable too. But again, don't be afraid. It is, after all, a video game. And regardless, it is a genre that is entitled to be beaten. I mean... I watch Command and I watch Command and Conquer. I watch XCOM. Hell, I'll even watch Ultima. I watch mainly any type of video, so as long as you know it doesn't drag too long, because sometimes you know I fall asleep on certain videos. Not because it's boring, but you know, long day, and I usually just, I usually just crash right where I am, namely in my seat, or on the bed, and that usually happens, so therefore, like I said, don't be afraid. It happens, you know, there, there are certain games that do intimidate people. I play certain games that will somewhat intimidate people but I often tell them you know it's okay you know I play strategy games and I don't mind playing strategy games it helps me think it helps me plan and plot out what I'm going to do and if it takes me about 30 minutes 50 minutes 90 minutes Maybe a full two hours. So be it. If it's in Japanese, 
I can understand what the mission is just by pulling up um, a script or a fact about the game and then just say, oh, well, okay, this is what it is. I will go even so far as to print out said fact or script just, just to break it down for you guys just because if you're wanting to know. And number four, encourage. For those who are watching, I would say encourage, you know. Because there are times that we, as the players, we usually get bogged down by, not all the time, but sometimes negative comments usually these comments would would come out to be you suck why don't you stop being an LP or why don't you do this why don't you burn in hell blah 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 I haven't gotten that in like a long while and only because I do a game I do a game much differently than other people that's that's my prerogative. I do I do games much different than other people. That means you don't have to like it. But you do have to respect what I'm doing. I'm doing this game because I want to see what I can do with this game. I want to see how I can beat this game. I want to go through it. I want to do this with this game. I'm pretty sure other people who have done same game have a different way of doing it and it's not just strategy and tactics RPGs that's with any game okay so if I were to say do um, I'll give a good example Sword of a Mylon I did Sword of a Mylon and most people strangely found some hate in it because I mean probably just one person found some hate in it just because, oh, I did it this way. Well, you know what? Boo fucking who? Because you have no idea. To find the time and the energy to do these videos, that, is, that in itself is a challenge. Because we don't all live, we don't all live in the same time zone. So therefore, my best time would be in the morning. I'm I'm serious. My best time for me is in the morning, cause I can't do it. Any, I can't do it during the day. Because if I did it during the day, I would get um. I would get interrupted. That's the word I'm looking for. I'm I'm reaching for words, and I'm sorry, but you know I'm partially tired too long week and everything but like I said encourage because you don't know what what's going on inside our heads you don't know what what we went through the whole week so that's why I say you know encourage us because like I said it is free enterprise some people do it for money some don't I'm not in it for the money. I'm here just so I can entertain the I'm here to entertain you, the masses. But like I said, don't be so down on us just because we the people who bring you Let's plays and walk and video walkthroughs and playthroughs and whatever else that we gamers do on YouTube. You know, don't look at us that way. You know, it it's hard enough that life rarely throw us a bone. Okay, so you know, for that. 
I know, it's trailing off of the main subject, but it's important that most people understand what what we're coming from. What we're coming from. Like, for example, my buddy Ryu, Ryu from Breath of Fire. His videos do not require, 90% of the time, do not require his voice. He likes to play the game straight through. And it doesn't require voice because he feels the action he shows on his channel speak for him. It's an extension of him. So therefore, he would often he would often say this when we do videos that we talk. We often encourage each other because, you know, you're supposed to draw strength from each other. You know, if he's having one of those rough dates, it's the same thing for for anybody else. And I would say this for I would say this for Ryu, I would say this to Sh I would say this for Sheena, I would say this for Big. I would say this for Mag. I would say this for 40. I will say this for anybody in the group. And outside the group. Okay? That's not just saying our group, but anybody who has ever been through that before. And they felt like, you know, they haven't been... They haven't had much support. And they feel that what they do on their channels aren't worth it. It's usually for that reason why you need to be encouraged. So, my apologies if I have straight so long on, on that sort of category, but it had to be said. Number five, you ask once, ask often. Just like you save once and save often, you ask once and ask often. Usually, for any kind of game, I would usually say, well, this game might take X amount of parts. Like Final Fantasy 7. I didn't know I was going to beat it within less than 50 parts, but I did. And it's like, oh, it took me 34 parts to beat Final Fantasy 7. It's the same thing for if I, I'm still doing Dynasty Warriors, mind you. So therefore, it's like right after Wu. I mean, it's like I started off with Shu. Then after Shu, it's Wu. Then after Wu, it's Wei. And then after Wei is Jin. And then after Jin is Lu Bu. And finally, Other. And that's when the Let's Play will actually end. When I do Other and I, I and the other modes. Because that way, you know, I'm going through every part of the game. And then once I'm done with the game, I basically uninstall it. Not because I want more space, but because, you know, I had to give another game, I have to give another game, um, it's time in the spotlight. And for the spectator, if it's a long video, it's kind of rude for you just to look at it, flip it, turn it off, and just say, oh, it's a long video, oh. Because there are some people out there who just can't stand long videos. It's like, okay, um... I mean, the only way I would do that, and I'd be watching a video sometimes, and it'd be too long, I can't, I can't watch it. Only because, A... I might be tired. More than likely, I might be tired. And B, if it's not going anywhere and I'm still trying to watch it, I'll watch it for a while, then basically go to something else. But in the case of this, well, If you're going to, it's like this, if you're going to watch a Let's Play, you might as well stay and watch it for the long run. 
It's like as soon as you watch episode one, you are hooked. You want to see what what's past episode one. How is this person going to do it? It's just like watching a movie. You might as well just get comfortable and enjoy it. It's not in order. It's just something everybody does. You know, you want to you want to just watch something and enjoy it. And you're in it for a long haul. Even, even my DVDs. Even my DVDs. I will do that for my. I will do that for my DVDs. It's like I know I got a lot of DVDs to watch. Them. I understand that they are long. But the most important thing is, I get comfortable when I do watch my movies and and series and such. But as to what I said, for strategy rope, strategy tactics types, my final thoughts are these. Do not feel intimidated by one game. I mean, if you've never tried it, try it once. To so those out there, don't say you don't like it. You say you don't like it. No. If you say you don't like it, that's understandable, but don't discourage anybody else who is playing the game. Like, well, I'm I'm playing this game, so I guess it sucks because this one person say, no, no, it, that that one person might have a bad experience with it. So don't feel down about it. It's all it's only best to understand what you're playing. So therefore, for the player and the spectators, for the players and the spectators, there has to be a balance, you know? It's like, no one should be mad at each other just because, oh, I don't like how you do this, oh, blah, 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 this, blah, 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 that. Because most people, they would get bent out of shape for no apparent reason. And only because of one thing. It's just a game. With games, you know, you're supposed to have fun with them. You're not supposed to get stressed out. I mean, we in our group, and I had to, and I had to mention this too. We in our group, random call. <coughs> We all get around one game on the weekends. Usually on a Saturday, we get around one game. We play for a few hours, then we part our ways. We feel much better about ourselves. I mean, even if we had a shitty ass day, the purpose of us coming together is that we play one game we distress, we distress ourselves. We laugh. We have a good time, and then by the time, and then by the time that we do go on our own ways, we're not stressed out. We're not pissed off. We actually feel a lot better about ourselves. Or maybe a little bit. But that's what a video game is for. It is for distressing. Distressing yourselves from the labors of reality. And that is one thing we need to remember. We need to remember to distress ourselves. I mean, if, I mean, if video games won't work, try watching TV. Try watching a DVD. Hell, you might find a good movie in your collection. Who's to say? But the point is, don't feel intimidated. That's the whole point. The player should not feel intimidated by the viewers or the game, and the viewers should not feel intimidated by the player and the game. You're in it for a long haul. You might as well get used to it. 
but it'd be kind of rude just to say I don't like it and I don't like this game and the game hasn't really started yet because there are some people out there who are trolls and they say I don't like this game because of this I said and this is in five minutes in haven't even pressed start yet because you're still reading because the player in question is still reading text But that's besides the point. But for the players out there, you know what to do. And for those who don't know, you have a list. And I think for the spectators, you know what to do. You have a list. Because, really, we're all in this together. That's the main, that's the main thing. We're all in this together. And with that, I have nothing more to say about the subject. I think everything I had to say was within what I just wrote up on screen. So with that, I have been the Tenkai Chip Gaming, Pookie Izzy 7. And next time we see each other... This weekend, I plan to at least try to finish Super Robot Tyson D. And throughout the rest of the week, expect to see the end of the Wu campaign and the start of the Wei campaign in Japanese. And then after that, then I'll probably work on more videos from then on. So until then... Take care, God bless, have a great and wonderful weekend, my dear friends. And I'll see you next time. The Tenkai Ichi has spoken, and I am out. Tenkai Musou. See ya.